from United Christian Academy campus in Metro Manila, Philippines. We celebrate the achievements and highlights of our students this school year. A challenging year indeed, but ECA and its faculty, staff, students, and parents prove that challenges can be overcome by the grace of God. Join us as we recognize our students' achievements and hard work. Welcome to ECA's 24th Moving Up Ceremony! Here are your hosts, Miss Ivy Jane Australia and Miss Sushmita Murillo. And to open our Moving Up Ceremonies, we would like to request everybody to rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, to be followed by the opening prayer, to be led by Rev. Ryan Christian Tabat. Join us also for the Believer's Declaration and the singing of the UCA hymn. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another school year that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance and protection that you have bestowed to our administrators, faculty, staff, students, and parents. All our achievements this past year will not be possible without your intervention and favor. That is why we bring you all the praises, honor, and glory, and may this program be a testimony of your faithfulness, of your goodness, and of your guidance to the school that you have called and given a vision. This is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us declare the Believer's Declaration. I am a child of God, created in the image and likeness of God. Say, I grace through faith in Christ Jesus. I am justified, regenerated, redeemed with the blood of the Lord. I am more than conqueror through Christ Jesus who loves me. Yes, 
God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. and gentlemen and once again welcome to united christian academy's 24th moving up ceremonies this is the second time that uca is doing its moving up ceremonies online a testament of the school's commitment in delivering quality education even in the midst of this worldwide pandemic and that's true miss mika and during the whole school year united christian academy has been true to its slogan the school that cares for your future as it embarked in its most challenging journey in its two decades of existence. And to look back in that journey and remember the goodness and faithfulness of our Lord, let's all watch this AVP. There will be no face-to-face -face classes and sessions until we are assured of the safety of our children and our teachers. I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching. The pandemic is keeping public schools closed until August. Nakabuuan, 1,171,403 na ang mga tinamaan ng sakit. As an alternative to physical classes, it is implementing distance learning. School year 2020-2021 was indeed an extraordinary year in our history. As our country faced the most challenging crisis it has ever encountered, the education sector was one of the most affected. With this on hand, United Christian Academy continued to rally behind the vision that it was founded on and the direction that God gave for it to take on. In the summer of 2020, while the whole country was in chaos and confusion, Reverend Dr. Jane C. was reminded by the Lord of the vision he has given to United Christian Academy. United Christian Academy has been a school which provides quality education for students, uh, not only here in the Philippines, but also abroad. And uh, it's a, it has been a part of our commitment to face different challenges especially during the time of pandemic. So even uh, the time of summer, 
uh, way back uh, March and April. Uh, even before we ended our school year, last school year, we already decided to continue our academic offering for the school year 2020-2021. And even during that time that the Department of Education has not yet decided when to start, they openly said it in the, in the news, UCA has already submitted our uh, application for what we call the distance learning platform. The teachers and staff here in UCA, we created what we call the UCA online platform. We uh, uh, enlisted in the website uh, ucafil.online. During this time of challenges uh, in the summer, we, I could say that we are already prepared. Uh, number one, because our school is not driven by uh, greed or by the tuition fees but our school is gridden by our purpose. Uh, we are the school that cares for the children's future. We really uh, live up to what we uh, say and we do what we say. And we have made modules as well. We have created uh, video lessons. We have uh, created the, the website and prepared everything so that our students may continue their uh, studies and obviously the parents may have uh, a little stress for their kids during this time of pandemic. With this vision as a guiding light, a handful of workers and staff took the challenge and started one of the largest endeavor United Christian Academy ever took in over two decades of its existence. Since summer of 2020, UCA has steadily announced its commitment in offering education using the online and distance learning platform. This served as an assurance to its existing community that the school is ready and equipped to face the new normal in education. We have uh, chosen the distance learning platform. At first, we, we thought of doing a synchronous method wherein uh, most of the schools, uh, the private schools, are doing. Is it possible for students to really have a synchronous uh, mode of learning? So what we thought is uh, hard and uh, what we thought would be uh, more challenging than the pandemic is to create what we call the video lesson. Well, we are very optimistic. So even though the hardship goes with us, since we thought that uh, doing a, an online video would help a lot of students, not only the students who are in abroad, but also the students here in the Philippines who have poor internet connectivity. So what we did is to create a, a scenario wherein our students can enjoy learning even at a different time. So they could just click on the videos and download it. They could also uh, uh, revisit again the previous lessons since it is recorded. And for those students who really doesn't have an internet connectivity, uh, we provided them what we call the OTG, wherein they could uh, get the files here in school and uh, uh, the offline files and uh, watch it at home. And uh, we made it possible for them uh, in order to assist all the students and to continue their learning, even though we have suffered a lot during this pandemic. I think this is what the recorded lesson is all about. And now, uh, we also include what we call a, a weekly Google Meet so that uh, the teachers or the facilitators can say hi and the students can also say hi to other students, which uh, I think uh, helps them in their social growth. The video lessons now has been uh, a very successful in terms of uh, delivering the academic or the, the curriculum because uh, it, it is never a teacher factor. It is never an internet factor. But this time, it is all about how the students could adjust and the parents could make their time available for their children. There are so many options and so many advantages of uh, the video recorded lessons. School year 2020 to 2021 was a great challenge for every student, teachers, and parents. The first challenge was to adjust from face-to-face -face teaching and learning to online setting. Being a teacher facilitator was pretty challenging. 
We need to balance our time in making our lessons, checking the activities, and facilitating the students. It is no secret that the education system here in our country has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. We heard about the difficulties of parents and students with regards to online learning. The struggle is real in the beginning. We had to prepare and finish all the lessons and activities within the given deadline. And to be honest, we struggled on that. That's why uh, while the classes were ongoing, the teachers were still doing their video lessons. The most challenging part during the making of UC Online is making the step of faith of deciding whether to abort or continue the UC Online platform due to the excessive work of preparations, meeting the expectations, and even catching up with the deadlines. By our efforts alone, we knew we may not be able to cope up. But because God is with us, all the impossible becomes possible. And that encourages me to act, share, the encouragement to other teachers and students to go on with everyday learning. God allowed these things to happen because He has greater plans for everyone. And that motivates me and the rest of the UCA family to pursue our online programs. But being part of a school that aims to care for the students' future, I was motivated to pursue despite the difficulties we faced. Because of UCA Online, we even reached to other countries and gave us the opportunity to evangelize students and even parents. UCA is not established for business purposes, but as a response to God's purpose. I know that God is with us and God is able to do things that are beyond our control. There are difficulties and frustrations, but praise the Lord, we've reached the end together with you, our dearest students and parents. We were always told that even with a handful of people, we can finish it. The Lord will make UCA Online happen. And He did. The impossible became possible. And today marks the faithfulness and goodness of the Lord. Glory to God. With hearts strengthened by the Lord, Challenges were faced, obstacles were overcome, and UCA Online was realized. August, the school year opened with much anticipation and excitement. Over 650 students were enrolled and started to learn using the school's new platform. Uh, we are blessed how UCA accommodate and assist the online study of our daughter. Yes, correct. Naging uh, maayos po ang pag-explain sa amin nung online learning na uh, alam namin na mabibigay ng UCA ang magandang edukasyon para sa aming mga estudyante at binigyan din kami mga parents ng magandang deal para po uh, mabayaran namin ng tuition na magaan po para sa amin. UCA recorded their video lessons make it easier for the students to access their lessons anytime. Students can download the recorded video lessons, so even if the internet are unstable, they can still watch and learn their lessons, even the connectivity is offline or disconnected. Natugunan ng UCA ang mga pangailangan namin pang edukasyon ngayong pandemya sa pamamagitan ng pagiging manawain sa kung ano ang makakabuti para sa mga estudyante. We are so blessed with the UCA online because during the pandemic times, my kids got a quality education. UCA responds fast to every increase that we have through email, SMS, and chat room in my daughter's UCA portal account. The good thing about this is I've seen my daughter, in, you know, become inspired to study. I've seen her unstoppable in terms of attending her classes, and she would always tell us about her schedules that we have to adjust you know household activities because she has certain schedules to meet as with other pioneering endeavors difficulties and adjustments arose by making this online video study especially na sa kuwait kami uh, yung si chloe and dito sa kuwait yung time difference uh, but this video anytime she can watch na no? anytime uh, in the whole day pwede niyang balikan pwede niyang balikan yes uh, Recorded video lesson is easier because I, if I miss some lessons, I can still open it and it's easier to understand the lesson. We are so happy with UCA Online, especially that uh, they consider our request that uh, my kids will have a special uh, ex exam schedule, especially that we are both uh, working, so it helps us a lot. 
and I love online class and I love teacher shade. Oh, you love teacher shade. Well, the advantages of having recorded video lessons is that we get to view it in, in our most convenient time and we get to use it as reference for the long test and the final exams of my son. The advantages of having recorded lessons is that they can go back through it over and over again if they don't understand anything from the lessons they can ask right away me or Lola or Daddy and Lolo so it's like a family thing for us during this pandemic. I see my daughter Shakina has gained a lot of knowledge from this session. My special thanks to the administrations, their great support and guidance which they provided. For us, si UCA is hindi talaga sila nagkulang of giving information sa parents, sa students. Sobrang convenient ito para sa mga estudyante. No pressure, as in wala. Kasi kapag uh, not feeling well yung bata, babalikan lang nila yung, ano, yung lesson. Hindi sila may left behind. Kasi nandyan lang eh, recorded na siya eh. So pwede mo lang siyang balikan. Or kaya hindi mo na panood yung may mga videos ka na na miss out. Pwede mo lang siyang balikan. Yun yung maganda. So no pressure kasi kailangan mo lang balikan ang lesson mo anytime. It promotes uh, flexibility among the students. It also allows the students to revisit the lessons that they miss or probably revisit the lessons that they want further understanding. Guided by its principal, the school that cares for your future, UCA faculty and staff were ready and able to assist the students and their parents in embracing the new normal in education. During this new normal in education that we experience, UCA truly showed that it is a school that cares for its students' future. Even before the government announced that it will employ the distance learning approach, UCA has been dedicated to use the online platform to deliver its education this school year. At first, we tried to do it offline and set up our own server. But as the number of students grew, the school decided to go online and purchase a web server to cater to the needs of the school to run its online education content. And as the students steadily increased, UCA Online needed to upgrade its server to cater to the bulk of concurrent users that access our servers daily. UCA did not stop to upgrade whenever the need arises, just so to make this new normal shift in education as seamless as possible for our students and their parents. And this is a testament that UCA gives more than the parents paid for for their children's education. Online classes require much time from parents when it comes to monitoring their children's daily progress. But UCA Online understands that this might be something new to most parents. We assisted them to the best that we can and guiding them even if they have difficulties in accessing their accounts. In terms of assisting the students and parents, we provide enough or much more time for the students to finish their activities. UCA Online Dashboard is a great help for everyone with easy access for the teachers and students to send a message so that we can receive and assist and answer their queries. UCA stands true to its commitment to take care of its students' future. Understanding the challenges that parents and students face, UCA has helped them to cope up with their missed activities due to various reasons. UCA takes requests and situations into consideration and gave students sufficient time to finish their tasks. With that, UCA provides different channels of communication, especially in terms of information dissemination. Aside from the UCA online platform, parents and students can communicate with us through the UCA hotlines, emails, official UCA page, UCA marketing account, text messaging, and even through Viber and WhatsApp, for those who are residing abroad. Before the school year ends, we would like to thank all the parents who became our partner in their child's holistic development. Please do not hesitate to contact us whenever you have concerns and queries. Weekly Google Meet sessions were also done to assist the students, opening avenues for them to have social interactions with their fellow students, and for their teachers to follow them up about their academics and other concerns. I look forward to every Google Meet 
because it is when I can see my classmates and talk to teacher. I enjoy the activities, especially the games we play. Hindi po siya tulad nung sa ibang school na Google Meet na para po mag ano po mag-aral po yung Google Meet. Yung Google Meet po kasi every Thursday para po makilala po namin yung isa't isa. Minsan po may mga games. Kaya masaya po talaga siya. And nagpapasalamat po ko sa iyo say, kasi po hindi niya po talaga may pinahirapan. And sana po next year ganun din po. Thank you UCA. The benefit of online meet and greet is that you can interact with your classmates and teachers freely through online and you can get to know them better. I like being on Google Meet because I can engage with my teacher and my classmates. I am blessed to be part of UCA online. Should you tell me it, they make new friends and also enhance your communication skills so that when face-to-face -face comes, they will not have a hard time to adjust. In our Google Meet, we always have an activity, and this is something I always look forward to every week. What I enjoyed about the Google Meet is that I get to meet new friends, and that I get to do fun games with my classmates, and that I get to communicate and know my classmates and teachers more often. Dito rin nagbibigay ng reminders ang aming teachers tungkol sa mga announcements na ibinibigay ng school. Kaya naman napaka-epektibo nito. Kahit dun sa time na yun, nagkakaroon sila ng pag-uusap, kwentuhan, or nakakapag-share sila bago man mag-umpisa yung Google Meet nila with their teachers. So para sa akin, maganda. It gives me a sense of normalcy because it feels like I'm talking to my advisors and classmates as if I'm in the classroom. I have a chance to meet my classmates and teachers. I can have an interaction and conversation with them. Thankful po ako sa UCD kasi sa mga methods at sa efforts nila para po mapaayos yung school year namin na ito. Even under a new normal, UCA continued to its calling of not just providing quality education and training, but also providing opportunities for its students to know and have their faith in our loving and faithful God. UCA created the online chapel service where students had opportunities to have their faith in God by hearing His Word. Every week, students spent one to two hours with Rev. Dr. J.C. via Google Meet and YouTube Live to learn about the Word of God and build a relationship with our loving God the Father. Dahil po hindi po kami nakakapagsimba every Sunday dahil nga po sa pandemic, yung online chapel service po yung ano po, tumutulong sa amin para po uh, i-worship po si God. Tsaka po yung mga hindi ko pa nalalaman tungkol kay God po. Natutunan ko po dahil po sa online chapel service. And masaya rin po kasi po, ayun po, yung mga nakikisabay po ako minsan sa mga kanta. Tapos binibigyan po ng hope kasi nga po, si God po yung tumutulong sa atin in these situations po. The online chapel service helped me to know God more with the help of Reverend James C. With his explanations to different topics and answers to questions the students have. The online chapel service helped me with my questions and I got closer to God just by praying every day. During the online chapel service, I was able to learn and understand the stories in the Bible, learning about the sacrifice of God and learn from my mistakes I have made. This school year, you say also pushed through with its annual retreat. Even though not face-to-face, -face, students were still able to reflect the Word of God and join various activities through the UCA online retreat. Almost 300 grades 4 to 12 students registered and took part in the three-day retreat done through the internet. This past three days, marami po ako natutunan, marami po ako na-discover, at marami din po ako mas nakilala pa. Even though na online lang, kahit na nasa bahay lang po kami, naramdaman ko po ang paggalaw ng Panginoon, yung pagkilos ng Panginoon sa mga estudyante, pati rin na rin po sa akin. Natutunan ko po muli na mag sa kanyang salita at magtiwala sa kanya ng may buong puso. Thankful po ako 
kasi kahit na ganito po yung sistema natin, hindi po ito naging hadlang para hindi po matuloy ang retreat. Hindi rin po ito naging hadlang para hindi po maipahayag ang salita ni Lord. The retreat did not just fulfill my expectation, but also filled me up spiritually. It really touches my heart and I realize that commitment to God is really important. I'm also thankful that I got to meet new people in Google Meet. Ang uh, experience ko sa retreat na to is maraming italaga matututunan. Nag-enjoy ka na. Marami ka pang matututunan. Ito yung event na marami maganda talagang dulot. Blessed rin ako na nakasali ako dito. The most memorable moment for me sa retreat is our group sessions. Kasi dahil sa group sessions namin, mas nakikilala namin ng isa't isa at nakakashare kami ng mga experiences, testimonies, at kung paano ni God kami binago. And before the school year closes, preschool and elementary students joined the virtual educational trip conducted by Gardenia, wherein students enjoyed online activities and virtual tour of the bread factory. Valuable insights regarding proper diet and nutrition were also shared to the students. I learned the importance of the nutritious food and how we keep our body healthy and active. In the gardenia tour, I learned about how they make the gardenia bread in the packaging. And also they have storytelling that they have. It was so fun. We played games. They taught us how to make bread. Even they taught us what is the grow, go, and glow foods and the Bible of Jesus. My experience in virtual education trip in Gardenia was exciting and fun. I saw a lot of healthy food and I want to do it again. Thank you UCA. UCA is the best. Thank you UCA! Thank you UCA Online! God bless! We thank you and we bless that we uh, belong to UCA, UCA family. family. Congratulations, completers and graduates of United Christian Academy. I hope to see you again this coming school year 2021-2022. We also have summer programs for you. So be updated and uh, like our Facebook we have also our YouTube channel in the UCF officials and uh, I would like to hear from you. Uh, make comments and uh, share our videos. You can also share UCA online to your friends and, uh, and register online. Stay safe, stay online at UCA online. Indeed, school year 2020-2021 was an extraordinary year for United Christian Academy. A year of extraordinary faith. A year of extraordinary achievements. A year of experiencing extraordinary blessing from our faithful God. We hope to see you again this coming school year 2021-2022. Only here at United Christian Academy, the school that cares for your future. Indeed, that was really an extraordinary year with extraordinary challenges and blessings. And to give us an inspirational message, let's give a warm round of applause to UCE's founding president and chief executive officer, Rev. Dr. William C. In behalf of United Christian Academy, uh, faculty and staff, we congratulate all the graduates, uh, even in this time of pandemic, you have shown yourself to excel both physically, spiritually, and academically. May the love of God richly bless you and keep you safe always. Thank you, Reverend Dr. William C. for that inspiring words. Now, we will proceed to the presentation and confirmation of our kindergarten completers. 
the kindergarten completers will be presented by UCA Vice President for Academics and School Head, Reverend Dr. James C., and they will be confirmed by UCA Founding President and CEO, Reverend Dr. William C. Reverend Dr. William C., it is my honor to present to you the pupils from the kindergarten class of 2020-2021. They have successfully completed all the requirements set by the Department of Education under the K-12 curriculum and by the United Christian Academy. They are now ready to move up to grade one. By the power vested upon me by the Department of Education and United Christian Academy, I hereby declare you completers of kindergarten course 2020 and 21. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Reverend Dr. James C. and Reverend Dr. William C. And now, here are the UCA Kindergarten Class 2021. Kalimag John Carlos, with high honors, silver medalist, proficient in physical development, be brave. Castilla Sandler Adam D, with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication, prudent worker. De La Cruz Aaron Joseph E, with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication, be brave. Dost Shand Yusef V, with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication, tenacious driver. D. Aiden James C, with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication, tenacious driver. Francia Alonzo Matthew B, with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication. Prudent Worker Munoz Ash Sander P with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in physical development, BCB Almas Kurt Nathan C with high honors, silver medalist, proficient in physical development, good sport Perez Virgil C with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in physical development, good sport Antazo Bernice Adriel D. with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication, tenacious driver. Ariola Astra Juvia L. with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language, literacy, and communication, Porches Kid. Boriola Eliana Marie Celestine B. with highest honors, gold medalist, Proficient in Language, Literacy, and Communication, Golden Heart. Estrellado Amaraya Isabel A. with Highest Honors, Gold Medalist, Loyalty Award Bronze Medalist, Proficient in Language, Literacy, and Communication, Extra Miler. Paulina Stacia Faisalia C. with Highest Honors, Gold Medalist, Proficient in Creative Arts, Patience Advocate, Samson Keisha DLS with highest honors, gold medalist, loyalty awardee, proficient in language literacy and communication, extra miler. Taliping Davi Elisha C with highest honors, gold medalist, proficient in language literacy and communication, future leader. Congratulations to our kindergarten completers for your honors and achievements. And now let's move on to the presentation and confirmation of our junior high school completers. Our junior high school completers will be presented once again by UCA Vice President for Academics and School Head Rev. Dr. James C. And they will be confirmed by UCA Founding President and CEO Rev. Dr. William C. Reverend Dr. William C., it is my honor to present to you the students from the Junior High School class of 2020-2021. They have successfully completed all the requirements set by the Department of Education under the K-12 curriculum and by the United Christian Academy. They are now ready to move up to grade 11. 
by the power vested upon me by the Department of Education and the United Christian Academy, I hereby declare you completers of junior high school course 2020-2021. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Reverend Dr. James C. and Reverend Dr. William C. And now here are the UCA Junior High School Class 2021. Alejandro John Marco M. with high honors, silver medalist, pinakamahusay sa araling panlipunan. C. Jonathan James O. Toribio Lawrence D. Velasco Jeremy L. with high honors, silver medalist, pinakamahusay sa Filipino, best in mathematics. Belen Shandy Lorraine S. with honors, bronze medalist. Bermin Kimberly Joy D. with high honors, silver medalist, best in TLE. Go Queenie Isabel T. with honors, bronze medalist. Kurane Sandy Jean O. with honors, bronze medalist. Medina Aliona Jelaine M. With honors, bronze medalist. Obingayan Alicia Faye C. With high honors, silver medalist. Best in English, best in science, best in MAPE. Obingayan Kian Claire C. With honors, bronze medalist. Palpalatok Hannah Grace S. With high honors, silver medalist. Best in values education. Paulino Mariela N. with honors, bronze medalist. Perez Danielle C. with honors, bronze medalist. Cecilio Jan Charlize B. with high honors, silver medalist. Saligumba Marian Kate P. with honors, bronze medalist. Vargas Marian Shanley B. with honors, Bronze medalist. Once again, congratulations to our junior high school completers for their honors and achievements. And before we end this milestone event, here are some announcements. this event, Miss Reina Christine Tabay will lead us for a prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you and we glorify your name. We thank you for the success and the victory that you have given to each and every one of us. We thank you that you are with us all throughout this school year 2020-2021. And Lord, today, we just give you back all the highest praises, glory, honor, and power that you deserve. In Jesus' name this we pray. Amen. United Christian Academy would like to thank all our students and parents for being with us during this challenging and fruitful school year. Indeed, school year 2020-2021 has been a blessed year for all of us in spite of the challenges that surrounded us. And in all of this, we have our ever faithful God to thank for. Praise God for His faithfulness. And we hope to see you all again next school year, only here at United, United Christian, Christian Academy, Academy, the school that cares for your future. future.